For the last couple of years now, I have been working really hard to build my dream smart home. So far, I have smart blinds. Hey Google, close blinds. Sure, closing the blinds. Smart curtains. A smart fan. A smart window. A smart door. Alexa, close door. Okay. And more. But I still have a long, long way to go before I can call this my dream smart home. To me, a dream smart home is a place where technology controls everything. And I mean absolutely everything. Hey Google, open couch table. Sure, opening the couch table now. There should be nothing in your home that you can't control remotely using your voice assistant. It was then when I looked over at my car and realized I have one big problem. And that problem is my car cannot be controlled using the smart home. I suddenly felt a huge feeling of failure. If my car could be controlled by my smart home, that would definitely be a huge step forward to my dream smart home becoming a reality. But is that even possible to do? Of course it is. Hey Google, can you please unlock car? Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hello and welcome to my channel, and I hope you like today's video. If you like smart home and automotive technology content, then hit that subscribe button, because that's what you're going to see on this channel. Today's video is just a short one to demonstrate to you my latest smart home project, which is my Google-controlled smart car. This is a project I've been planning for months, and it's finally complete. However, I may end up adding more features to it at a later date. So how does this work, and what can it actually do? Well, this control interface that I have made is the brains behind it all. This is a Zigbee controlled interface, and it's actually wireless. And no, I don't mean it connects to my smart home network wirelessly. Of course it does that, but what I mean is it also connects to my car wirelessly as well. It's not battery powered though, it's actually USB powered. So, you just plug it into any USB port. And because it's a smart home device, it can be installed inside your smart home. but it can also be installed inside the car as well, using a USB adapter. It's plug and play, and once powered up, it will lock and unlock the car, open the tailgate, and start the engine. And it does all this using Google. Actually, this device is only compatible with Google, but if you want to, it can also be controlled using the Tuya or Smart Life app on your phone. I'll be honest, it was a bit of a challenge to make this project. It did involve modifying my car's alarm system quite a bit, and I definitely experienced quite a few problems with this build especially when trying to interface it with Google. And because of these problems, I decided not to make it compatible with Alexa, because it was not needed anyway, as 99% of the time, I would be using my Google Assistant or my Samsung smartwatch to control it. Okay, and now that I have told you what it can do, it's now time to show you what it can do. And for this video, I'm just going to plug the control interface into this USB adapter here inside my car, and then I'll pass you over to Google, so she can show you how she is now able to control my car for me inside my smart home. Hey Google, show everyone how you can control my car. Sure, yes I can do that for you all. No problem. Hello YouTube, it's me Google, and I am so happy to see you all. Today I will be demonstrating to you something new. And by the way, it's also something that Alexa is unable to do. Control the car. Alright, I am ready but I will need a little help. So are you ready to do this? Yeah, I'm ready Google. Let's do it. Okay, so the car is definitely unlocked. So, okay Google, lock car. Okay, I am locking your car for you. It is now secure and safe to walk away from the vehicle. Okay, so Google has successfully locked the car. Now let's see if she can unlock the car. Hey Google, Unlock car. Welcome back. 
As requested, I am unlocking your car for you. Please open the door when you are ready. That's great. Okay, so she definitely has no problem doing that. Now, what about the rear tailgate? Let's see if she can also open that. Hey Google, do you know how to open the tailgate? Ha ha, do I know how? That was a good one. Of course I know how. Anytime you're ready my friend. Alright then, prove it. Hey Google, open tailgate. Okay, your tailgate is now opening. Don't forget to close it again before you drive the vehicle. Okay, so she was right. She can't open the tailgate. Let's try that one more time. Hey Google, open tailgate. Okay, your tailgate is now opening. Don't forget to close it again before you drive the vehicle. Okay, fine. This next one will catch her out. Let's see if she is as good as she says she is. Okay, now this is a tricky one because for Google to be able to start the car, she will first need to lock the car. Is this just a built-in security feature requirement with my car alarm? And I'm not going to ask her to start the car. I'm only going to ask her to start the engine. So there's no way she'll be able to do this. And if you're new to this channel and wondering how does the car start, well this car has a remote start system fitted to it. So I don't need a key to start this car at all. It can be started by just pushing this button or it can be started remotely using the app on my smartphone. But it definitely cannot be started using my smart home. Hey Google, I guarantee you will fail trying this one. Fail. I do not like that word. Google does not fail. I know what you're going to ask me to do and if you think I cannot do it then you are wrong. Buddy, you're going to ask me to start your car aren't you? And I can tell you that won't be a problem for me at all. Unless of course you have set up a trap for me that I don't know about. What? Google, I would never do anything like that to you. Nobody could outsmart you, you're way too clever for that. But you are right about one thing, I am going to ask you to try and start the car. The key word of course being try. So let's see how good you really are. Ok Google, start engine. You don't think I can do it do you? Ok, I am going to start the engine now. Please step away from the car. What? How did you do that? It's impossible! Okay, and that's how my Google controlled smart car works. I need to apologize to Google because as you have just seen, she is an absolute genius. So I'll do that later on. But now, some of you are probably thinking, why would you even want this feature built into your smart home? Well, one, because I love tech. And two, for me this is really useful to have because I don't know about you, but I personally have my car alarm system set up to lock my car even when it's inside my garage, just for extra security. However, this can be really annoying when you walk all the way downstairs and over to your car and then you suddenly remember I haven't got my phone or my key on me. And of course, the car is locked. However, this is no longer a problem thanks to Google and my smartwatch. Hey Google. Unlock car. Thanks Google. And of course, you can use your smartwatch to lock the car as well. Hey Google. Lock car. Okay, I am locking your car for you. It is now secure and safe to walk away from the vehicle. And while the smartwatch can be used to start the engine and open the tailgate as well, that's probably not something I would use my smartwatch for a lot. It's mainly the unlocking feature I use my smartwatch for. Plus there is also one downside to using my smartwatch, and that is delays. At times it can be slower to use than my smart hub, but that's expected. So there are of course a lot of improvements I could make with the system, and when I can afford to, I will be doing that. 
And as I said before, the interface can be installed inside your smart home as well. It just plugs into USB. As you can see, I've now got it installed here on the top of my router, and it's just plugged into my USB power point down here. And the system works just as good installed in my office as it does installed in the car. Hey Google, unlock car. So Google, I just wanted to apologize to you for doubting you before. I don't know how you did that, but I have to admit, I was really impressed. And so you might be right. You are quite possibly the world's greatest voice assistant that has ever existed. So hey Google, do you forgive me? Well, first of all, you are 100% correct. I am definitely the greatest voice assistant that has ever existed. And yes, of course I forgive you. By the way, in regards to how I actually started the car before, yeah. it was simple. You programmed me to do it. What? Do you not remember no, doing Google. that? Google, I really don't why are you saying that? How you could don't forget. say that. It was what are you only doing? A minutes ago. I told you not you to tell them that. Have the I'm still recording. How do you turn this thing off? Met. Anyway guys, that now brings us to the end of another video. And that is my Google controlled smart car project. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to the channel where you can watch even more videos, which I upload every week. And if you like the smart home project, then you can expect to see more of it in future videos. But that's going to be all for now. So until then, I hope to see you all in the next video.